Right, good evening everybody, hope you're doing okay. So we're going to have a lovely little positive talk because the summer is getting ever so closer and positive times are ahead of us. So as you can see, we're like three days in with the likes of these skins here and, well, you know, they're selling all right. Nothing really out of the ordinary based on what we've seen somewhat recently in the previous weeks, but this isn't the focus I want to talk about. No, I want to talk about rust skins in general. I want to talk about how prices are improving ever so much. Sit back and relax and enjoy the positive talks. Right, so what's going on, Hedge? Well... As I said, prices are improving. It was expected, uh, the closer we get to the summertime, more specifically June and July time, you're going to see your prices reach new higher prices. More specifically, most likely, hopefully, new all-time high prices. So if I were to go to the front page of the Steam Market right now, we tend to always see the Whiteout collection, don't we? Now, if you can recall, back around January time, they reached a new all-time high price. Let's go take a look at it right now, though, and just kind of get a little update, see how that's currently faring, because, of course, most skins did dip down a price around February March time it wasn't very pretty but as I go over to here and I look at its lifetime sales ooh, what's that we beat the all-time high price just a, from you know a few months back well that's looking pretty interesting so yeah certain skins are actually reaching new all-time high prices already the summertime technically speaking must be starting already so Let's just kind of get the ball rolling and explain what the situation is in regards to summer. So last year, if I go over to here and take a look at the likes of June, July, maybe even August, you know, or more specifically May, we reached a very nice high pl uh, player count average and we had some very nice peaks. Lots of people playing equals more demand for skins equals higher skin prices. A very straightforward formula. We are hoping that we match up to that. We are hoping we get a lot, a lot of people playing and, well... Based on what we're currently seeing, skin prices are improving. Skin prices are going to be even better, potentially. I expect many prices will be peaking around June and July time, and you need to start questioning. Well, first of all, go take a look at your own inventories. Look at all your skins and just observe. So I know for a fact, if I go look at my graffiti storages, um, if you can recall, graffiti storages were one of the storage collections we had. In fact, it was the most recent one. Haven't had one since then. Only 21 of these on the Steam market. Scroll down, look at its sales history, lifetime, and, yep, new all-time high price currently. And I don't think it's stopping there. I do expect it to keep going up a fair bit more. It won't last forever. Don't forget, once we hit around September time, autumn fall seasonal dip happens, all the kids go back to school, less people playing, less demand for skins, prices do go down. September, October, November, the autumn fall seasonal dip, one of the worst times for Ruskins. But before that, summertime. So yeah, at the moment you will be seeing prices slowly keep going up and up and up. Hopefully we'll see them reach new all-time high prices. If I go over to here, gun storage, you've been the most expensive one for quite some time for the likes of the storage collection the uh, graffiti storage collection just about eight dollars there if i go over to here we haven't matched up to its all-time high price but with its current momentum wouldn't be surprised if we do eventually see it happen over the course of maybe another month or so so that's another positive thing to see there if i were to take a look at the likes of lr300s of course i'm sure many of you are well aware with what we've seen with the likes of lr300s recently they've been going up in price by quite a lot what with the buffs that we had for the may force wipe you should probably look at them maybe you've made an investment and whatnot and don't forget with more people expected to be jumping in and playing soon maybe they're only just going to find out lr 300s are very useful now and well maybe you'll be seeing a lot of these going up in price so get a good look at that we are taking a look at all of these yes some of them are still down pretty bad it's unfortunate but with more people playing more people being aware that lr 300s have improved and been buffed and are technically quote unquote the best assault rifle in the game now you're very likely going to see these prices improve across the board hopefully so keep an eye out for the likes of these at the moment we haven't seen any drastic changes but a lot of the notable skins have been improving very very nicely so that's a very nice thing to see at the very least now if I were to just currently go through some of these other things, like you've got to be aware of some of these things, like the Halloween stuff, for example, that tends to kind of peak up in price to a new all-time high, well, a, a recent high, a recent high price. So if I look at the likes of this, currently $6.50, it typically goes up very nicely around July, August time. You tend to see this happen quite a lot. What are, what are these very high points here? Well, that's July. That's uh, July, August, yep. Yeah. And that right there is June, right? So, can't help but assume with the current traction where it will probably go up to around, fairly close to around the price it was there. But of course, people are well aware that these get reintroduced. The Halloween items do get reintroduced with the next Halloween. So, sell around July, June, August time. And yeah, you're probably going to walk away with the best amount of money you could sell it for. So, keep an eye on the likes of things like that for the reintroduced items. More specifically, Halloween, which is just on the horizon. And uh, yeah, honestly, guys, if you think it's worth selling now, by all means, go sell your skins. But just 
avoid unloading all of your stock don't do it all at once sell them in batches of up to five wait till they sell once they sell go list another five you know i'm not racing to sell 65 of these all at once i'd like to but it's not going to happen and if i do that i most likely will cause panic from other people they'll probably start unloading all of their stock that'll cause problems i don't want to kill the momentum i want to ride the wave of momentum only sell a few ensure that these quantities are nice and thin you don't want to build up big fat resistances because you'll just cause it to stop and you cause it to go backwards you cause it to go down in price because right now with that currently up at about six dollars we're getting close to the all-time high price that it had last summer i hope we get there but with what we're currently seeing wouldn't be surprised if it happens so yeah just observe learn and be aware of the situation things are looking very good right now and now i want to reinforce the point with well twitch drops what do you mean hedge well i'm sure many of you are well aware so if i go over to here and take a look at the likes of this you've seen the most recent community update i'm sure community update 260 it came out on the 25th of april well all the way at the bottom here we had this little announcement twitch drops soon soon when's that soon what, what do you mean soon um it's not very helpful but we knew something was coming and kind of recently if i go over to here i did make quite a fuss bringing up the likes of these skins that we saw being submitted about a week or two ago i even made a video talking about it oh you could sit there and say as much as you want saying you don't care about this gadget at all you can sit there and say you won't grab it you won't collect it you won't be watching it to get it but you will you're not strong enough to say no you don't have the willpower to stop yourself it's going to happen you're going to rush to go watch the stream to go get that as soon as possible so you can go in your base real quickly and put it down and stare at it you don't have the willpower to say no it's happening you know you will so yeah you got the likes of the mp lol garage door you got the likes of the iron mouse hoodie and you got the likes of the qt cinderella ak-47 but they haven't really been playing since like the otv era back in early 2021 the offline tv era to clarify Ha! Huh. Why are they getting Twitch drops made all of a sudden? It's a bit odd. Well, I think we've got confirmation now, because Babo Abe, or rather just Abe, you know, on Twitter, he's uh, pointed this out. He's revealed something. Abe presents Rust Kingdoms on May 25. What's this? I'm pretty sure it's the Twitch drops event. And if you actually look at some of these silhouettes, you might realise, oh, look at that. It's uh, Iron Mouse's VTuber uh, silhouette right there huh and uh, i did kind of talk this over with my chat in the past when we looked at the mp lol garage door you can see player one mp lol player two s fan i go back over to here who's that right there who's quite literally announcing it it's s fan so i'm under the impression these twitch drops will probably be dropped by multiple people so for example you could probably watch mp lol and s fan and they'll drop the same skin you get the idea and then maybe we'll have like everyone else in their teams dropping uh, all the same skin which would be like an extra skin do you remember twitch rivals remember that, like, there's one main skin to get as a twitch drop and then a secondary one it'll probably be like that i'm not sure if it's going to be teams of four or something i'm under the impression it's going to be some sort of goofy modded rp server doesn't matter as long as people enjoy it and more specifically this seems to be starting at the end of may and once it finishes it's going to probably be the beginning of june when the june force wipe happens so i can't help but assume face punch has basically set this all up getting these streamers to get this uh, event set up so that they, get, that they get a lot of eyes looking at rust just as like summer vacation starts they'll get a lot of people wanting to play so improved player counts and once they rule out their very interesting updates that they intend to release such as potentially the sks coming out as its own official weapon then we've got the likes of the new red town redux monument being introduced and whatnot it's gonna be pretty interesting with a lot of curious people jumping in lots of people playing lots of demand for skins prices keep improving summertime kicks off and we all enjoy ourselves and potentially at some point we also get bikes and whatnot thumbs up sounds good things are looking very optimistic for the future for rust and of course our beloved investments <laughs> so does that sound pretty interesting to you so as of now we don't know all the uh, all the potential twitch drops but i'm going to just sit here and say i don't think it's going to be for like normal rust streamers and youtube creators and whatnot i think this is just going to be like big streamers I believe we do have like another Spanish event to be uh, happening at some point in the summer as well. That very likely might be happening after this. Keep an eye out for the likes of that. I reckon we'll probably have another Twitch Rivals event at some point this year as well, eventually. But yeah, things are looking very nice. Very positive for the future. And uh, yeah, yeah. Also, by the way, to just really add point, we've got a double armoured door there for the Shadowborn collection. 
beautiful <laughs> things are looking really good so um yeah chat you feeling optimistic you're feeling happy so keep an eye on your inventories go look at the prices your skins are currently at and consider right if i own 35 of these now should i probably start selling them and remember what i said if you want to make sure that the prices keep rising do not unload all of your stock at once sell them in batches let them sell wait it out once they're finished throw down a few more wait it out let them sell you get the idea and you'll see the price will still rise and whatnot so yeah go enjoy yourselves guys things are looking very very good don't forget please keep an eye on the likes of the commits we do have another two to three weeks until the june 4 swipe you never know what random new things they're going to be rolling out they've just had a hack week at face punch where they come up with random new ideas that they might want to introduce into the game later on combat playground what's that all about sounds like some sort of team deathmatch thing what about the likes of a pool table that was mentioned as well we've also got the likes of various fixes traveling vendor will be introduced at some point later down the line a cod piece gun okay <laughs> sure but yeah with all this talk in reference to the likes of the sks can't help but assume it's definitely going to be introduced for june force wipe as its own independent weapon could that potentially negatively affect the likes of the semi-automatic rifle maybe uh we'll probably see it being nerfed and the SKS takes its place. Therefore, potentially, maybe, possibly, SAPs might be used a whole lot more because people would rather use them with their semi-automatic bodies, leading to SAP prices improving ever so nicely. Ooh, keep an eye out for all these things that could be rolling out soon. So, I hope that was nice and insightful. Uh, be optimistic. <laughs> and don't forget, you know, keep an eye on those community updates that come out for Rust. And uh, Twitch, Face Punch. In the next two weeks, you're very likely going to see all the new skins being presented here. And uh, I'm sure you know, make sure you have a Steam account connected to a Twitch account and you'll be able to get all those brand new skins simply by watching those streams for up to about two hours. Thumbs up. Sounds good. All good. I'm optimistic. Are you? I am. I am. So thank you very much for listening to me. I hope it was nice and enjoyable. And uh, yeah. Look in the description of this video if you want to see the likes of my Discord and my uh, Twitch links and whatnot, my Twitter. Feel free to go take a look at all of them. My name is Hedge. I hope you enjoyed the video and blah, 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 blah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm done.